Hi, everybody. I'm Jordan Rolfes from Vega Rampant Productions. And I'm Selena Rolfes. And we are continuing our Let's Play of Pool of Radiance. In the last episode, uh, the lizard men kept bothering us. And um, this is an entrance hall. The walls are decorated with frescoes of heroes and aristocrats. I would you like feel to safe see in it. this area. Yeah, yeah, I know. NES graphics. But you feel safe in this area, so I think we can rest here if needed. But yeah, last episode we were working our way to Mendor's library. Um, the uh, Trump and Biden campaigns kept blocking our way, i.e. the lizard people. Again, I think the government is run by lizards, but, um... I'll watch, like, the CIA or someone will take these vids down. You know, well, we found these to be objectionable, so <laughs> yeah. There are library shelves. Literature is carved on the entrance. Guys, I'm gonna screw this up. There's a doll-colored reptilian monster here. It makes a hissing sound. What do you Parlay. do? Hi, doll <laughs> hissing monster. I'm gonna screw this battle up, guys. I'm gonna screw this up. I have never been able to actually do this battle correctly. She's looking right at him. Yeah, that, that's... At a basilisk. That's probably not the smartest thing um, she could do. Craven, I need you to kill this basilisk. Damn it! Guys, we need to go back to town. I have never been able to do that correctly. I can't, I have never done this battle where somebody has not gotten really stoned. Like, we're talking Woodstock here, dude. <laughs> uh. And I don't think she's gonna get any of these experience points. The person who needs the experience the most is an Can't agent. you buy a soft? We have to go to an actual cleric's office. Oh. Can, uh, hold that with your uh, stone self there. Well, we should at least, like, read some of the literature. You randomly examine the titles of some of the books. You find many more titles. Uh, none of them are any interesting. I think Squeak Dude's gonna ultimately be very disappointed in this library level. I was expecting some dark academia. Yeah. Like, reading and, like, Fall colors and coffee. You know, like the feeling you get when you're looking at your Tumblr mood boards. Yeah, you know. But a lot of this game does kind of rely on the imagination. If I wanted to use my imagination, I would read a book. And not uh, do a video game. That's fair enough, dude. That is fair enough. No! Well, okay, yeah, I guess you can go there. Two, three, four, five. Right in the head! Boy, that would have been impressive if she would have hit him. Oh my god, what are you doing to him, Noel? cool because he has a two-handed sword and a nice strength bonus, which is why he missed! Oh god, please don't kill him, too. This episode's uh, got off to a bang-up start, didn't it? 
But I knew I would mess up the Basilisk battle. I have never been able to do the Basilisk fight without stoning at least someone. Can you put the Basilisk to sleep? I have tried that in previous ones, and that didn't go very well either. Watch, that probably would have worked this time around, but I don't know, our magic users are a little on the derpy side, so, uh... Great, now you, um, hit him for 13 points and legit kill him. You notice it said, Noel is slain. She legit, like, iced him. Cool. You enter the slums of Flan. It seems there were no monsters. Yes, we cleared out of the monster-infested slums. When the party's over. Indeed, yes. Splinter, do you ever get tired of disappointing me? Yes, and we can rest as much as we like here in the slums now because all of the monsters are gone. So it's basically just us and that one douchey vain guy. Uh, Olo, yes. And I think the uh, shopkeeper is still running around. So, like, there's no monsters to keep them here? Are they, are they ever going to go to the actual city? or? I don't think they ever do. This room is completely empty. There is nothing anywhere. God, that is one of my favorite uh, tropes of a Dungeons and Dragons thing. Through the old meeting place for monsters. Sun Temple here. Do you need our healing? Yes! God, yes! Two thousand gold to turn her back to flesh? You're ripping me off, lady. of a person? Could they work that on the statue and make them a person? Oh, that'd be kind of cool. But you see here, guys, there's, um, all sorts of spells, um, that you can have. Um, there's Raise the Perished, um, you may have to do that. Um, Restoration, that is going to become a very important one later How's on. How's that different from Raise the Perished? Restoration? Yeah. Restoration heals when the bad guys um, drain your hit points. So you see Rose, how it says 31 out of 31. Oh, when so they drain hit points, she would have like 31 out of 20, so it doesn't make any sense. And if it gets to zero, because as you know, you can't divide by zero. Um, We've had arguments. We have had things, arguments about but this. But I'll spare the Beagle Pups. <laughs> the argument, but... um. Yeah, um, if it gets down to zero, like if she had 31 hit points out of zero, her character's gone. You can't get her back. She's just done. They drained every last bit of her. Um, but yeah, there's cure light wounds, cure serious wounds, cure critical wounds. We never learn cure serious or cure critical wounds. The only cure spell you have in this game is Cure Light Wounds. That's the only one that you, as a party, can do. No matter how much you level up no your clerics? No matter how much you level up your clerics, the only healing spell they will ever learn is Cure Light Wounds. Man. But, I mean, it doesn't make sense to me to really come to the cleric too much. I We don't play too much with the clerics. Um... Do, 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 do. 
Let us head over to the armor guy, Yorinen. There's an arms and armor shop that is open 24-7, and I don't remember where he is. One of those things I, like, run into a thousand times when I am not looking for him. Is this the inn that I was literally just at? Yes. What up, lady? Do you think I'm crazy, lady? Oh, yeah. But here's the thing, lady. Like, we can just go and, um like, sleep in the uh, slums for free. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't we glamorous? You enter a tavern, the air is filled with smoke and gossip. Dude, do we want to hear some gossip? Okay. You feel a light touch on your purse. We're gonna grab his hand. Uh... And now the city guards want us to leave. Move along here! Well, I mean, you know, if he would have done his job, we wouldn't have had to kill that thief. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying, dude. We're gonna, we're gonna hear some gossip. There are several groups gambling energetically. Hey, where's my purse? <laughs> when was the last time we saved? In the slums here. Alright guys, so um we'll be uh doing a little bit of the old desolve magic there and uh Yeah. Mr. Rossetti would be so angry. He would. Mr. Rossetti's gonna be like, I'm gonna kill that idiot. But um Alright guys, so it is now morning. Uh, pumpkin is um uh, all fleshy now, all and, soft and all squishy. soft and squishy. And um, I think I realized something. Um, we couldn't really do the gossip so much at the taverns because we were doing it in the dead of night, and that was probably where all the bad guys were. But um, we actually do need to run by City Hall. You enter City Hall, corridor runs south, and the door beyond is watched by the guards. Um, we need to do um, City Hall because we defeated Norris the Grey. So, um, let's see what she has to say. Let me check whether we owe you a reward. Let's see. You destroyed Norris the Grey. Take your reward. Yeah. Now I'll give you your commission. I'll tell you about Valhinge and Graveyard. Be careful. Girl, we are not going to do that until the very end of the game. <laughs> Destroy the undead in Valhinge and Graveyard. If you succeed, there is a reward. Find any history books about Flan in the old times. Oh man, that literature section was real stinky. Well, you know, the books suck, there was this big ass basilisk, you know. <laughs> Brachio would like to see you. Yes, yes, he would. He is at the Shrine of Tear to the east of here. Thieves and traitors are living in Koval Mansion. Destroy them. Yeah, she wants them dead. I have given all the missions that I may. We aren't going to... We. I feel like death is kind of a very, like, severe punishment for theft. Yeah, she she did, she is bloodthirsty. She wants these people dead. Alright. So, we are going to hear some gossip, guys. It's five in the morning. You know, the hardcore criminals should be at home. You enter a tavern, the air is filled with smoke and gossip. There are several groups gambling energetically. Now, I believe in the PC version, it is actually possible to gamble, but they... Oh, that would be fun! Guys, I am never going back to that tavern! 
terrible service. Terrible service. The drinks were all watered down. Drinks were all watered down. Um, slot machines were rigged. Slot machines were rigged. This guy kept trying to grab the purse and, you know, it was just awful. Zero out of ten would not recommend. Yeah, would not recommend, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going back to that tavern. But I might go to this tavern, because I want to hear some of the gossip, you know? Yeah, that's a mechanic that's in this game, and I have not shown it, and there are things to, um, talk about on it, you know? You enter a tavern. The air is filled with smoke and gossip. Several groups. You are listening to random gossip. Some swords have spirits. Ones who don't match their alignments can't use the weapons. Don't know if that feature is actually in the NES version. <laughs> A lot of, you'll find a theme here, they talk about things that were in the PC version but didn't get ported here. Nomads are living in the Northland, sometimes they make camp up there. Alright, time to kill the thief. Well, Splinter, even you might be able to do this guy in, oh look, a first level thief. Obviously he's a third first level thief because, like, Rose totally felt him and noticed him. And that's it. City guards come in and move along here. Okay. What up, jeweler? Are we gonna buy Rose's necklace? Not quite yet, I'm afraid. Um, we're gonna have her do some identification because we have stuff that we have no idea what it is. Ooh, a potion of healing, that's always good. With three clerical spells, very good. Of giant strength. Again, that's gonna to go to Rose. It's weird because like that's Rose's strong point, but like I want Rose's strength to be bonkers. So yeah. Okay, that was all we needed identified, so let's sell some gems. to sell his bandit mail. Okay. Cool. Um, Rose, do you got anything that needs selling? All the good the brass mirror did! Oh, dude! I could have had Rose use a shield. Cute. Alright, so... Who had the giant strength? Yeah. I want Rose's strength to be... pretty wild. Yeah! She was at 21. I don't know if these of this effect, um is instant. It might be a while before, like, she actually gets the effect of giant strength. I know, I think someone said it takes an in-game month. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> you know, and at that point, Rose probably would have actually leveled up quite a bit and her strength would have risen anyway. So... So then you could make the argument that it might be useless. Hmm. It very well could. I mean, that just that makes no sense. I could almost see, like, okay, maybe she needs to sleep and let her body absorb it or whatever. I could maybe give you that, but a month. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, should we train, possibly? Got a lot of money. 
You gotta get swole. Gotta get swole. All right, you need a thousand gold pieces to train. Yeah, see, like that guy. Yeah. Like Morris the Grave looked no worse than that guy. Oh my God! I'll have you know that in my regiment in the military, um, you know, I was the hottest of the guys. Ooh, Rose, you didn't get um that good of a uh, hit point boost there, did you? Which class are you gonna train? You don't have enough experience. All right, which class are you gonna train? You don't have enough experience. Pumpkin, I know you don't have enough experience, but we'll go through the motions. Pumpkin could be a cleric at three level. You wanna be trained? See, look at her. Our pumpkin is leveling up. Our pumpkin isn't rotten at all. <laughs> Much like your Halloween pumpkins. Yeah, I love carving the pumpkins for Halloween. It's one of Squeak Doo's favorite things. You don't have enough experience. In shake be a magic user at two level, two level, my god. Um Magic Missile. In Shay can be a thief at three level. We're getting there, yeah. In retrospect, I might have a terrible party, but um No, they're so cool. They're the band of misfits, and that's gonna be one heck of a plot twist when they defeat um Tiran Thrachus. My god, Craven, you were just at you just now He's moving on up. On oh, only one hit point? Craven, all day, every day. You disappoint me. <laughs> Craven could be a thief at three. Oh, wow. He's a third level thief. Oh, wow. <laughs> but hey, he's up to 14 max hit points. You notice, though, he was just getting one hit point for each one of those yep. things. Yeah. Alright, um, uh, so let's look at these bracers here, um... My god, look at Rose's Thacko! That is great! So you want your Thacko to be low? Yes, um, um, it's, um... Yeah, ideally the lower the better. Okay, um... Craven, equip these bracers. Let me know if they do anything. Um. I have no idea, dude. I wonder if these bracers are gonna get sold. Let's see his actual thing. Strength 18. 1d6, 18. They don't do anything. What up, buddy? I'm gonna sell some bracers. How's that sound? But they don't do anything. Why do you think I'm selling them, buddy? 9,000 gold pieces. I know, and I think, uh, you know, I've had bracers in this game that really do a number for my, um, uh, you know, armor class, but, um, guys, if you, um, yeah, and some of you might be thinking, like, oh my god, I'm cringing, he just sold the most impressive, ooh. Splinter, when I equip the cloak, Splinter has an uh, armor class of negative three. And which is good. Okay. Because Splinter is constantly getting his ass whopped. 
We will head over to the slums and do some healing. And it's not even like healing, it's like Rose got so swole, you know. <sighs> Splinter. Like. What? The boys. What? What's going on with the boys on my team? Like, the girls, they're, they're, they're doing fine, but like, the boys on this team, like, what, what is up with them? And yet, it's still probably the boys who get all the credit. No, I I will make it my personal mission to make sure Rose gets the credit for a lot of this, because Rose is our MVP. Like, I can picture, like, the townspeople turning to talk to the boys instead of talk to Rose. Like, like talk to Craven. Oh my god. <laughs> god, the, the, the I thought of I feel like talking to Craven would just be kind of funny, like... You know, like, the kind of pretentious guy you would see, like... Oh, yeah. And, like, um... Uh, well, yeah... I guess it was okay when we saved your town or whatever. He wants to tell you about the poems he wrote uh, but you, and yeah, how they're better than yours. Yeah, yeah, my poems are better than yours. They're way better than that thing in that library that had the damn basilisk in it. <laughs> <laughs> You know, maybe you guys were just, like, maybe not in the best mood, like, after that basilisk fight. Like, maybe if you had found the literature section without that, you would have liked it more. Yeah, uh, yeah, like, how much of it is an actual critique against the literature in there, and how much of it is a critique against the, um, uh, big freaking basilisk in there? Well, probably if we get more critiques in the library, we'll just assume they're coming from Craven. Yeah, probably, and yeah, there. This there literature are. is so pedantic. Yes, it's so pedantic. Oh my god, it's like they don't even understand. This is just um, uh, mainstream. This is too mainstream to be counted as real literature. All right, we're in the main hall once again. But I wonder, should we call this episode here and? Um, Maybe see about the rest of the library later. Sorry, guys, we are going to get yeah, library. Get some more of Craven's recommendations. Yeah, get, get some Craven's recommendations there. Thank you guys so much for watching. You know you're the best fans of any YouTuber in the world. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Jordan Rolfus from Beagle Rabbit Productions. And I'm Selena Rolfus. And we love you guys. Bye! Bye!